And then we do this. And then you guys are pretty much dead. You guys are so dead now. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at this Archon team. This is a new national team, guys. Look at that. And so as you've seen from the quick showcase we just had at the start of the video, you can already kind of have an imagination of how well the team will perform, which is why today we have a dedicated video talking about and looking in depth into our Archon team, because apart from the fact that it's very powerful, it is also one of the most fun team I've had to date when playing Genshin Impact. Now guys, if you're still trying to pull for the character you love and still having trouble saving up your Primo Gems, then in collaboration with Paimon's Market, we're doing a 6480 Primo Gems pack giveaway right now on my Discord server. I hope that with this, it will help you have a better chance of pool for the character that you want. So if you're new to the channel guys, be sure to subscribe and join my Discord server to enter the giveaway right now. With that, let's just jump into the video. So within our Archon team, as you have known, we'll have our Raiden Shogun, Nahida, Zhongli, and Venti. I won't be going in depth into each of the character build assuming that you've already got them built and we'll only look in depth into how the team works now first off why the team actually works is because it just actually works guys you know how easy genshin impact actually is especially during the past year before it was kind of tough because the abyss was actually harder but now they just made it so easy we barely have anything left to do especially looking into the meta right so why not have a bit of fun? How many times do we usually have such an amazing team that sticks with the lore? And especially this time around, it's an Archon team, which is amazing. Now, it is not to say that I'm actually neglecting all the meta players out there, don't worry, because the team is not just focused for casual player, it is also one of the team that is best for Raiden and Nahida as a whole. So first off, we basically have our two, Electro and Dendro. Archon who works absolutely perfect with each other to do aggravates and spread which is already very good in terms of focusing on reaction side. Next, we have Zhongli who is still considered to be one of the best supports we have in the game till now, not to mention the potential of doing really good burst damage while he is in a support build. As you've already known, his shield will almost never break, plus all of the resistance shred that he gives to your team while under his shield. Furthermore, he has access to tenacity set, which in the whole further increased your team's shield shield strength and damage and since Nahida also scales with attack percentage herself she can still get the buff that Zhongli gives and then Venti here a legend crowd controller in the game I am sure no one's gonna beat him in terms of crowd control anytime soon and especially from the fact that he is an Animo character that have access to 4 piece very decent helping your team a lot more with resistance shreds on top of Zhongli's already therefore this team would do exceptionally well especially when you're up against AoE situations. Well because not to mention that Raiden Shogun and Nahida also have such wide range AoE already. But with Venti here on the team they're just going to be making the most out of all of the AoE damage that the team has to offer. And that guys is only on a basic level of teamwork and it's basically a basic requirement of any team that you want to function reliably. However this team also has has even greater potential in that Raiden and Nahida complement each other very massively. Because how Raiden's E skill work is that as long as you hit your opponent, it will trigger dealing electro damage and then applying electro elements as well. Therefore, it will trigger along with Nahida E skill since that itself is a reaction. And so in other words, now regardless of whoever deals the damage in your team, it doesn't matter if Zhang pillar deals damage or venti skill hits the opponent even though those two elements don't react with dendro but due to raiden's e skill you're still going to be triggering nagida's skill regardless therefore everyone on the team will be constantly utilized to their best potential not to mention guys if you pay a little bit more attention raiden's and nagida works 
even better in AoE situation due to the fact that if you see here when the enemies are actually close to each other whenever raid and E skill activated usually it only activates on one of your enemies whoever it is that you target and deal damage but since now they are pretty close to each other raid and E skill will actually link to other enemies dealing aggravates or spread reaction chain which is practically insane and then you don't even have to mention if all of these enemies are within venti's burst your screen will basically explode with elemental reaction damage so basically guys it is a very fun team to play and works well with each other as well the only thing you do have to keep in mind though is that there is some downside to this team however for me personally i don't really see it as very significant in that first of all there won't be any specific synergy apart from aggravates or spread because dendro don't react both with geo and animal elements so only raiden can take full advantage of some of the buff now since there will be only raiden as electro element on the team nahida won't be able to make use of all of her buff during her burst and it's only going to be electro buff since there's no pyro and hydro character and also as we can see on this team there's going to be four different element meaning that we're only going to be using the worst element resonance in the game by only providing use element resistance increase but that itself can be a little bit on our beneficial side since there is no specific healer on the team apart from the fact that Zhongli is keeping you alive with his shield however most of the situation you will also be fine since Zhongli's shield practically almost never breaks the only thing it's impossible though is that when you're up against enemies that ignore shield like for example a wolf enemy so when you're up against them for a long time during the abyss especially it's going to be hard for this team to keep up without a healer but guys you're almost going to be fine now most of the time since it's not a thing any longer we only have like one abyss in the past that focuses on wolf and enemies that ignore shield so you're practically fine over the time now another thing though is that shield break may be a bit hard when you're up against electro shield enemies since you'll be relying on nahida standard damage to break shield but from the other testing it already seems that Nahida is pretty decent at breaking shield we don't have a very tough shield recently in the abyss like the abyss herald we used to have who's very specialized in electro shield to truly test out the effectiveness so we'll just have to wait until they appeared again in the abyss to truly test and so those are some of the main downside that I'm seeing but overall the team performance is just very good and very easy to use now talking about team performance we'll now compare our Archon team against some of the better meta team that we have had before which is going to be our Raiden national team as well as Raiden Hyper Bloom to see how well our Archon teams perform against these two teams. So during our solo boss run, we can see that Raiden National is on top with only 20 seconds and Archon team isn't too far behind with only around 3 seconds behind, with Hyper Bloom team being the last. Now it's quite a clear win from the Raiden National because this team has always specifically specialized in solo bosses. And especially when you're up against bosses that don't get knockback, this team will be able to deal a lot of passive overload damage. However, Archon team 
with having the fact that Venti is someone who specializes in crowd control, he won't be able to have as much use apart from the fact that he is applying resistance shred to the team, but the team is still being able to do relatively well compared to that. And then as we look into AoE dealing situations, Hyperbloom and Archon teams basically performs on quite similar level. Hyperbloom now have relatively good clear time as well because of the fact that it has pretty decent AoE from all of the bloom blasting everywhere so the situation is pretty under control and of course our Archon team will do relatively well in AoE situation because we have Venti here on the team. Now as for Raiden National it's always have been so bad against AoE situation especially when you have enemies that don't have knockback resistance so all of the mobs on field are just gonna be blasting around like firework and then you have to end up chasing them around to kill each one. Therefore the clear time is always really bad compared to solo boss on Raiden National. And so from the overall results we can see that Archon team's performance do really well in practically most of the situation. There's nothing that we have to worry about many of the time. Which is why it is a very fun and effective team for you to use all the time. And so guys I hope that the video have been enjoyable and fun for you to watch. And from the fact that Hoyoverse have always loved their Archon and they specialize and give very good treatment for the skill and sets of each and individual Archon. I'm very looking forward to how future Archon skill is gonna be and then I hope that we're gonna have a very much better team whenever our Hydro, Pyro and Cryo Archon arrives. So guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to join our current giveaway on the Discord server. With that once again I really appreciate you sticking around with the videos and with that I wish you a super day and I will catch you on my next video.